write an expression for the new price. Here I want to go through these problems that involve percent because percent is used in our real life so much. It is such an important concept. Yet these will lead to very simple equations that you are able to solve using the equation solving techniques you have learned. Okay, let's say we have an $18 shirt and it is discounted by 20%. Write an expression for the new price and you don't have to calculate the new price. The original price is $18, the discount is 20%. I often like to think of it this way, that the original price here, the $18, is also 100% of the price. Now you take away 20% of the price, so how many percent of the price is left? Right, 80%. So our expression for the new price is 80%, one possible expression, 80% of 18. Now I want to write the 80% as a decimal, and of translates into multiplication. Remember that. So 80% as a decimal would be 0 0.80 or 0 0.8. I don't need to write the 1 0 here. And then this is multiplication and $18. Okay, that's the expression. Over here we have a water bill that has been $34. It is increased by 8%. Now, the original water bill is again 100%. It is $34, 100%. But now it is increased by 8%. So you add 8% to 100%. So the new water bill is 108% of the original. 108% of $34. As a decimal, this is now 1.08. Then times... 34. If you put that into your calculator, you will get the new increased water bill. Here we're going to use this technique, as I showed here. A shirt whose price is P, or it's unknown. Basically, the price is unknown, and it is discounted by 35%. And the new discounted price is given. It is $9.95. Let's say you are a merchant, you are the store owner. You have these shirts to sell, and you want to Say you want to discount them by 35% and you want to advertise the discounted price as being $9.95. So first you need to decide your original price. And since you're the store owner, you can decide any price for your shirt originally. So you want to decide what is my original price so that when I have this big sale, I make everything to be 35% off, then I will advertise this price as the discounted price. Okay, just like here. When a shirt is discounted by some amount, then we will write an expression where the percentage of the original price is the discounted price. And here we have the shirt. Original price is, of course, 100% of the price. Then it's discounted by 35%. So 65% of the price is left, right? 65% of the original price is the discounted price. And the original price we don't know, that's the P, but the discounted price we do know. Okay, Think about this very carefully until you understand it clearly. 65% of the original price will give you the discounted price. Okay, Because the discount is 35%. And we don't know the original price. Or you are the merchant, you want to set it. Okay, and now of translates into multiplication, and this we write as a decimal, 0 0.65 and p. I don't need to write the multiplication here, the multiplication symbol here. And then this is $9.95. And now this simple equation you solve by how? p is multiplied by some number, so you of course divide by that number. You divide both sides by 0 0.65. And P is then left alone, and on this side we get $9.95 divided by 0 0.65. And then you use a calculator to calculate that, which I did, and we get $15.31. Okay. A ticket costs X dollars, and then there was a price increase. 8% price increase, we know that, and we know the new price is $64. But what was the original price? the old price before the increase. Think just like here. When the price increases by some amount, it's the same 8% even, then you take 108% to 
of the original price to get the new price. So we, I can use exactly this expression here. I take 1.08 times the original price. And that gives me the new price. 1.08 times the original price. But we don't know it, so that's the x. And then that gives us the new price. 64. And to solve it, divide both sides by this decimal, 1.08. So x equals $64 divided by 1.08. And then that gives you $59.26. Okay, all done with this lesson.